Right, so what I'm going to do this morning is to do a cylinder with an inclined plane on one end. So we'll start off down here, put in a line. It's going to be 125 millimeters uh, in diameter of the cylinder. Uh, 100 mil high on this side, going away at an angle of uh, 45 degrees. Drawing the back edge in. And I'll just trim those out, those two points at the top there, just to tidy it up. Uh, I'm actually going to drop that. Uh, no, it can stay on there actually. So from there, we're going to put a line through the center. It needs to come from a midpoint. So a midpoint up through the center. I'm just overshooting these lines because I don't always get them vertical otherwise. So that's our side elevation. Uh, of what the cylinder is going to look like. And this line in the center here uh, is actually going to be our joint line of the cylinder. So now we need to put a plan view in here because it's plan over um, front elevation for a third angle projection. So normally a plan would go up the top here, but I'm going to stick half a plan on the base because that's all I need. Got that on another page already copied. Uh, copy it with a base point in the center there. Drop that back into this drawing, paste it in here as a block, dead on the center there. So there's our half pattern on the base. This hasn't got the curve coming across the top because the top is exactly the same as the base. So from there I'm going to draw a line up from the bottom, uh, from point number one, straight up the sheet, number two. Lay that in. Number four. Number three is already there because it's the center line. Number five. Lay that in. So these are our projection lines. I'll actually do those in uh, hidden detail. And I just need to trim them off across the top here. Get rid of that. So there we have a side elevation with a half plan on the base, which is what we need to develop it. So we're going to work off towards this right hand side here. So I'm going to offset a start point. Mark that up, do it again. Offset, 145. Click this one and bring it to here. So this vertical line I've just put in is going to be the start of our pattern from the base. That was wrong from the base. This point here, 125 millimeters times pi, gives us a really accurate figure of 392.6990817. Highly accurate being a computer. Laying a vertical in on the outside edge there. So once we've got those, we can then run our lines across our sheet here. Our projected lines, which gives us the heights of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 0 and 6 are already fixed lines, so just laying these projection lines in here. Number 5, and number 6. So there are these lines here are 0, 1, Oh, we missed number two. Put another one in for number two. There we go, number two. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's trim that top edge off on that corner. Get rid of that for tidiness. So now we want it. This is our rolled out length of our cylinder of one, two, five times pi. So from here to here, it's 392. And we need to put the verticals in across this line, which is the equivalent of zero to one, one to two, two to three. And they're going to lay out across this line here. So I'm going to do it as an offset on the computer. You would have to use your dividers and step across this line. Put all the points in. So the offset is 32.724. Uh, Once again, way too accurate. But that's how the computer works. So just laying these verticals in. 
so we can start to put our pattern in or our developed line. One more. And I'm going to number across this baseline. So I've got that already set up on this page, which is a bit quicker to um, do instead of numbering it all. It'll take too long. Jumping around here a wee bit. What's going on? So copying all those to the base point, which is going to be that corner there. So that's done. We can drop those points in as a block again because that's sufficient. So there's all our numbers for our lines. So now this this is our joint line here. So that's where our pattern is going to start, uh, and we're going to roll it out across this curve here. So I'll run that in as a spline. So this is number three on this this line being three and three coming up here. We step across the page drawing. down to zero, back up to one, two, and three. Ah, hit the wrong button, do it again, Mark, you're not thinking. And I missed that one as well. The joys, eh? Just bear with me. Down to zero, one, two, and three. I just was supposed to hit the enter, which I've now done. So these vertical lines, they're only projection lines, so we'll put them in as hidden detail, which is what we've got in the front elevation. So into hidden detail. And we're going to trim out above the, the curve line what we actually don't need on this side just to tidy it up a bit and these because these are projection lines we'll dump them back in on the uh, hidden detail again just trim out that top line there and there we have a rolled out pattern of a cylinder, 125 diameter, 100 millimeter throat, uh, with an inclined face of 45 degrees. And that is how you develop it. Done.